What's happening, folks? Back for some more Master, and we're back to start going through the episodes that were never shown on Mystery Science Theater 3000. That is to say, the first four episodes were included in two separate episodes of MST3K. That's obviously how I initially encountered the show, as I discussed before the first episode. Uh, but yeah, once I got the DVD set, I was very excited to get to this episode because it would be the first one that I had never seen at all. So yeah, this episode will always be special for me. I do think it's actually a very good episode. Interestingly, it actually features maybe my favorite moment in the entire series, but it definitely features my least favorite moment in the entire series. So I'll leave the best moment to happen and we'll sort of experience it together. But the worst moment, just to give you a heads up, when they're in a hotel in Vegas, Max has to try to get inside the bad guy's hotel room. So he has to, and I'm going to use scare quotes here, sweet talk and or charm a female hotel employee to give him a key. And it's just a really creepy, uncomfortable scene. Now, granted, I don't think it's really Timothy Van Patten's fault. I think it was more the writing of the scene, but it's just an unpleasant 20 seconds or so. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the female lead in this episode is Terry Treos, who's in a number of things I've seen over the years, including a very campy movie they also watch on Mystery Science Theater 3000 called Deathstalker and the Warriors from Hell, uh, and it's actually the third Deathstalker movie. In any case, I am quite fond of her. I might make a joke or two to that effect during the episode. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Hi, I'm Max Keller. You'll have to excuse me. I'm about to jump off a mountain. <laughs> Edward Edwards? Honey, sure what should this? we call our I'm son sure. so his full name is Could not ridiculous? A ninja must be able to descend to any structure with great speed before his enemy can throw a shuriken. Of course. I'll time you. Little something for the ladies. That was pretty fast. Hey, what'd you think, old fella? Where'd he go? Behind you. Expect the unexpected. I don't want to. Your descent was pretty fast. You'll go faster. When you have to. Forget about the lessons. We're talking Vegas. I know a showgirl there. Tracy, you're gonna love it. Hey, what's that guy doing? He's coming up too fast. Well, he's passing you, Max. Now that was completely unnecessary. Learn to drive! Or at least break like guy. a normal person. You alright? You okay, Henry? Great. Can't get it started. That moron could have killed us. Stick her on the trunk. He works at the Grand Palace Casino. Good. That'll make it easier to find him, because he's going to pay for the damage. Every cent. Anyway, I'll be in my trailer. One day I'll control that boy's temper. Maybe. That wily Max. Yep, folks, it's the 80s. So you're saying I should pay attention to this guy, eh, show? Counting room doors. Counting room, six seconds. Elevator, 12 seconds. Five. You go find your friend Tracy. I'll look around for the car. If you find that guy, you come... Yeah, I'll call for help. I'll hear you. <laughs> what a jackass. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, when I greet people, I prefer giving them a mid-back slap as well. Late. You can stage another rehearsal. 
every step in this operation must be planned to the second. There's not going to be any uh, operation if you don't get to Tracy. Look, I'll deal with the girl. If we don't work as a team, it'll fall apart. I won't tell you again, Craig. I'm Craig, and even my mustache knows I'm a jerk. There she is. That's very good, Tracy. All right, that's good. That's real good. Okay, uh, let's take it from that turn over there. Okay? Okay. And when you come out of it, really control it. Stretch out of that, okay? Good job. Okay. Back off, Max. The bass loop might be repetitive, but someone's playing the hell out of that thing. See, you can tell they're bad guys, because they enter through the exit door. When did you know her? It was after that mercenary job we did in Bolivia. I went up to San Francisco for a few days. She was dancing in a show, some modern jazz thing. Really blew me away. What happened? Doesn't matter. What matters is I never thought I'd see her again. And here I am in Vegas, playing a little blackjack with Craig. Who is a prick, I know. And there she is. That's when the thing came together in my mind. Only the lady won't cooperate. She'll do anything I ask. Yeah? You better find another way of asking. Like semaphore flags? I gotta go get my flags. Good. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be really great. Uh, take 15, and we'll run the finale with the girls when you get back. Right. See ya. I don't know if I can fit in Well, mine. I think so. Hi, Tracy. Tracy, we need to talk. Blake, get away from me. Hey, we're running out of time. We need that key and you're the only one that can get it for us. I told you. I don't want any part of this or you. Find somebody else. All right, I'm starting a poll. Who's There's creepier, Craig or Sam and Shirt Guy here? I never was. I never wanted to see you again. Well, I knew where to find you. Always. So you know too much now, Tracy. I won't do it. Look, you're not listening to me. Try listening to this. Leave her alone. Max. Take a hike, pal. This doesn't concern you. Try killing the Charo. I'm sure you could do it without breaking the lady's arm. She's a good listener. I said get lost. And I said let her go. Now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so Sam and Shirt Guy's not much of a threat. Hey. What's the problem here? Hey, no problem. Just a misunderstanding. A wager that went the wrong way. Right? Yeah. Right. No sweat, officer. <laughs> Why's the cook there? Well, that's good. Great, it's time to get back. What the hell was that guy? Not exactly the fountains of Bellagio, but it's nice. Nice company you keep. Who is it? Randy Blake. He's with some kind of convention at the hotel. He tried to pick me up a couple times. And then he put me back down. Like I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep that. doing that one. No. Seems like you were always I hover over your hand. one problem or another. Always getting yourself in trouble. Bad habit I can't seem to break. Though I do break a lot of windows with my face. How long are you gonna be here? A couple of days. How about you? What's next? Broadway? The only chorus line I'd be in is off, off, off Broadway. Come on, you were great in there. I thought New York was always your dream. It was. 
You're right. It's Thanks for is. the meaty close-up of Max. Dad's a hoofer, mom was in the chorus. Kid sisters in lights in London. My turn. From the Grand Palace Casino to West 44th Street. Why not? Just believe you can do it. Things happen. I'm finding that out for myself later. You ever hear from your father? Not for a long time. I never really knew what happened. Hey, Mr. Sykes. Well, uh, my mother died in a light plane crash, along with my older brother. And a case of Johnny Walker the pilot was working on. I'm so sorry. So was I. After that, my dad just went away. You know where he is? I suppose we could find each other if we wanted to. More on this later in the series. I'm sorry, Max. I didn't mean to bring back that memory. You haven't. It is so good to see you. And you, Max. I'm a friend of your mother's? Obviously. <laughs> That's enough, Susie. Max, this is Susie, my 12 going on 30 daughter. Part-time bodyguard. <laughs> Honey, Max and I practically grew up next door to each other. So tell me about yourself, Max. Well, Traveling I... Traveling alone? Married? Any kids? <laughs> Wait a second. So they kept that no, take? No, I'm not married, and I don't have kids. But I am traveling with someone. Very interesting guy. I think you'd like him. Why? Because he could do some pretty darn amazing things. Like what? Crawl up the side of a building. Spider-Man? Incredibly strong. The Hulk. <laughs> All these comic book references are cool again, Cry? folks. Like in Revenge of the Ninja? Close. <laughs> <laughs> the kid speaks for all yeah, of us. Get away from it. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> Looks like a happy table. Hello, Susie. Bug off. Susie. She didn't mean that. So is it me, or does he have an extremely big face? I mean, it's almost Robert Zadar yeah. level. I, I was only seeing an old friend. I think it's about time you get back to work. Now. Be seeing you again, Susie. You know some real winners. I'm sorry, Max. Your face just isn't big enough for me. I'll see you me. later, okay? You be good. Nice guy. He's got the hot for your mom. You're cute. You should have stuck around. When? When you and my mom were friends. It's not too late. Go for it. <laughs> Even sounds like me. I think your voice is a little deeper than that. So they took Polaroids on a fishing trip? So, ninjas don't have a spidey sense then? <laughs> Me 
while outside. Ladies, just passing through. I knew Vegas was going to be exciting. <laughs> okay, that reaction phase was gold. Feels more like a bingo hall than a casino, but okay. There are 21 of yours in a row. I thought I'm counting. Found our wild driver. Name's Craig. Tried to run me down. You okay? I'm okay. Split that hand. The trunk of that convertible gave me a little bit more than I bargained for. Ammo, fuses and timers for explosives, four M16s. Anything else? Isn't that enough for you? Stay on that. Do you see Tracy? Yeah, she's in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, an hey, unfortunate you know, haircut for guy one. Guy named Randy Blake. Tall, blonde, powerfully built. Don't tell me. Ninjas are also clairvoyant. Photograph in the convertible. To Craig, signed Blake. Must have been a non together. P.S. Thanks Guns, for the halibut. Ammo, and a link to Blake. Now, what does Blake want with Tracy? We're gonna find out. Thanks for including me. But I'm on a streak. I'm on the streak. You stay lucky with the girls. So lucky means really poor, right, action. everyone? I'm not looking. Oh, see you later, huh? We'll be around. Don't ask. <laughs> I assure you, I didn't. So what do we do? I'm going to try and get a look at Craig's personnel file. If you, you know what I'm saying. How am I going to do that without any keys? Charm. Lots of charm. This should do nicely. What, tacky bowling shirt? Well, here it is, folks. The worst scene in the whole series. Well, I need a key from 906. You know I can't give up a key without authorization. You know that. Sal, give me a break, huh? Guy calls up, says his TV's on the fritz, and he goes out. I got eight more TVs I gotta fix before lunch. Some people, you know? Look, uh... Max Keller. Remember me? Just let me in, okay? Well, I, I, I guess if you're here, it must be okay. Cool. Oh, right, that's okay. logical. Wait, what? Okay. Here. See you later. Thanks, Sal. Here's your keys. Is it over? Can I open my eyes, people? Not bad for an 80s hotel room. Ah yes, that thing. Creeper can. What about Tracy? There's a way to handle her so she'll do anything I ask. Stop worrying, Weston. I don't like negative vibrations. Clockwork. It's gonna be just like clockwork. Where have you been? Some old guy busted into the convertible. He must have seen the weapons. He was on that road with the kid this morning. I want you to cut out the booze, Craig. What have the cops in Vegas in here? He heard I'm pretty sure they wouldn't fit in here, Bob. Oh, I see. We'll worry important. about him and the old man later. Don't ever manhandle me like that again. If you hadn't run that kid off the road, he wouldn't have been in here. Don't push it too far. What do we do? Okay, we're step things up. Can you set the explosives at the dam tonight? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, we definitely didn't dub that line in, okay? Up to tonight. You look a little green. Incidentally, so he is also a goblin, as that last scene showed us. Who was it? 
Craig, so what'd you find out? He used to be on security here at the casino. Got fired for being drunk on the job. Planted at the casino. Found it in Craig's room. What are all these passageways? Some series of underground tunnels. Baked them four boxes of explosives out of a suitcase. Now, there were fuses and timers in, in, in Craig's trunk. What does that add up to you? Robert, you must be crazy. Knock over a Vegas casino? Why not? It's got style. Especially if you're a one-time crack commando unit out of now. We're kind of vulnerable. Yeah, we're well, better than in the casino than the dark alley. And what do you suppose Tracy's part is? Trying to force her into something. Something to do with the robbery. Well, we better talk to her and fast. All right, I'll get the Micro Machines guy. We heard your page. We were coming to find you. It's my friend, John Peter McAllister. Hey, what's happening? Susie. Susie's happening? I've got Susie. What? Blake. He just called me. I've kidnapped her. If I don't do what they want... What do they want you to do? They want me to play that oh, killer bass line from earlier? It's a key. I don't know what it opens. Farland, the assistant manager, keeps it on his key ring. Oh, right, the big face guy. I'm supposed to have dinner in his penthouse and get it. When? Tomorrow night. That's when the robbery goes down. Do you have any idea where Suze could be? I'm not sure. Oh, you're not sure, okay. She gave me a couple of clues. Oh, you have some clues. Good. I think she's at a warehouse across town. Oh, a warehouse. I wrote down the address. <laughs> Wait, you have the address? But if you call the police... We're not going to... From not sure police. to here's the address in 12 seconds, that? folks. We'll be back. With Susie. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I saw a bug on the table. Found the warehouse, but there was no sign of Susie. Or any techno no party, unfortunately. That wasn't too hard. A little early for Halloween, isn't it? Ease over to your partner. Saunter on One down, move. sidle up, your choice. My buddy killed him. Searching. <laughs> Real cute. Carry a lot of little tricks, don't you? None of them are gonna do you any good now. Little does Craig know, the master actually has a ninja jerk stopper. Get down. Get down! <laughs> Tragic. Two transients trapped in a warehouse. Trying to find shelter from the outside world, right in the shadow of all that decadence. But these things do happen. I'll tell you what's going to happen, Craig. We're going to meet again. Out of the shadows when you least expect it, I'll be there. Like when you're taking out yeah. your garbage. Somehow, I don't think so. So long, pal. <laughs> 
Well, maybe the brass band can save the master. What changed your mind about our date? Your big face? Or sorry, did I say that out loud? You did. I know an act when it's played out for me. Hamlet, Act Two, Scene One. You play Ophelia. No act. Oh, get away from her, you horrid man! Embarrassment. What happened? You went down without landing a single punch. Come on, let's get out of here. But they didn't make it, so they burned alive, and that was the end. Seiko would kindly ask you not use their products to make bombs. I can't believe it. Set us up. I'd say she had no choice. Unless she is part of it. Max, she did it again. Fell for every word. She was scared. Yeah, this from the guy who tells a new woman each week it. that he'll come back soon to see them. If she lied about the warehouse. She could have lied about the day of the robbery. Count on it. Thinking what I'm thinking? I think so, Brain. But how are we going to get the tutus on the horses? Something blew up somewhere, I guess. Uh, I appreciate the person with the lighter trying to help, but I still can't see anything. But you didn't give her a chew toy as a reward. Come on, Tuco. Some crazy night. Yeah, let's get this stuff out of the counting room, huh? Meanwhile, somewhere else smoky and invisible. No one looks particularly bothered anyway. You get the tracing in the penthouse. I did what you wanted. Now where's my daughter? Doesn't matter anymore. Not to you. Oh, I'm pretty sure it does. An elevator. And now we're waiting for an elevator with John Peter. All right. So that's how they got out. Bye, honey. 
perfect. Come on. Oh, that makes me very angry. Very angry indeed. Summer wind. You really think you could just blow us away? Half the Las Vegas Police Department is swarming around down there. Right now. You scared, kid? I don't blame you. Unless you can fly, you haven't got a prayer. Well, I'm not saying a prayer for me now. I'm saving it for the morning after. Put your arms around me. Baby, Hold on tight. put your arms oh around me, baby. Sorry about this, Tracy. I really am. Well, kid. Any last words? So long. And Blake disconnected the cord, they fell to their death, and the show ended. Time, do they? Well, they are on cocaine. How is she? In shock. Casino doctor has her on sedation. She's in one of the rooms. That's good. She'll be safe there. Vegas Tours. Here's Calico. Here's Adamo. Both ghost towns on the tourist circuit. Right here. Tracy says there's another town. One that no one else knows about. Then she again, she's Susie on cocaine, on too, so... Susie told her on the phone that she was at our ghost town. Worth a shot. You're calling the Marines. Yeah, and get Susie killed, huh? Well, we could go check it out for ourselves. That's just what I had in mind. I was hoping you'd say that. I got a score to settle. No, you don't. You got one thing to accomplish. Get that young girl out of there alive. That's all. I understand. I think you do. I'm your Huckleberry. Susie, remarkably calm hostage and OCD hobbyist. Where the hell is he? Anson will be here. You're all going to jail. You're a bunch of losers. <laughs> She's not Shut wrong. Up, kid. I'm just telling you. <laughs> not Craig. I've had all I'm going to take from that little smart mouth. You're not going to touch her. She was our insurance. That's all. That's right, isn't it? What? Sorry, I was listening to techno on my right, iPod. Shan. Take her out of here. These ex-mercenaries are in this town. They've stolen $2 million, right? Right. One of the biggest heists in Vegas history. And enough to try and kill Tracy. And me. Get to the point. That is the point. I mean, they're ready to kill. I don't think I am. You don't have to. That's what I've been trying to teach you. I don't think a shuriken has much protection against an M16. Don't be so sure. I'm just scared, okay? Okay. Is it? Yes.
much? Two million, one hundred thousand and seventy-three dollars. Yeah, and I really Great. enjoyed counting it by hand, I might add. If we get out of here, at this rate, we could have walked across the state line. An old western town. What do you think about that? Meh. Seems familiar. Ghosts of a forgotten dream. There's always a moment to back off. Like when skunks are nearby. You know, whatever comes around. Bright and sunny out? Does black still work for camouflage? Alright, kid. It's your turn. Sit on it, creep. <laughs> <laughs> the kid got away! Forget it, we haven't got time. Sweat. Girl, I want to make you sweat. Line. Just another Blake tactical operation like Nam in the old days. What is this place? Old movie set. Left it standing just for us. Blake and Weston are inside. We're all set. Well, I think I'll go play a game of Pharaoh. Be nice right now. What the hell's going on? I don't know. Spread out and find them. <laughs> sort of duck footed, Craig. Meanwhile, Larry the henchman is reconsidering his life choices. Give me sorry I did that, kid. Try me! Yeah, you like this. Nice, ninja boots. <laughs> and ninja booty. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Hi there. <laughs> I think Blake could win a gurney competition. Better. Well, you also have plot armor. Craig trained under. Abandoned Susie and went back to take a hot bath. The little girl Susie, they're gonna kill her. Blake! Is that why Blake turned on you? Yes. Was you trying to help her? Yes. <laughs> well, I guess that means you're totally blameless. Better than that. Don't do it. Where are you? Admit it, you didn't expect that. And neither did Skis Ball Greg, apparently. I like it. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. There's something eerie about this scene. A town that doesn't exist. It's like we're in a time warp. Seems kind of natural to me. Does heritage? Let's get out of here. Well, what do you mean heritage? I always wanted to be a cowboy. Really? <laughs> Wait, how does Shana get to be a good guy now? Never get mixed up with Blake. A mistake I made about a year ago. Once I knew the man beneath the charm, it's too late. Almost. How am I ever gonna thank you, Max? Really thank you. I don't know. An awkward think handshake. Mom. Trust me. Boy, jumping over a helicopter. Whew, that was hot. I'm glad you like that. Hey, we got a present for you, Susie, for being such a brave girl. I'm always a brave girl. Even to the dentist. What is it? Hey, ring. Call that ring. Does this make me a ninja? It's a start. When's my first lesson? Be careful. He'll have you walking on tight ropes and running the four minute mile before you're 13. What about well, rappelling down the side of a hotel? On you. <laughs> and you're not the only one who thinks so. Hi there, handsome. 
Looks like you got your hands full tonight, old fella. Well, there you have it, folks. Hopefully you survived that one scene where Max had to turn on the charm. So there we are. I'm going to imagine Tracy got the hell out of that casino, went on and fulfilled her dreams on Broadway. I'm going to say the big-headed guy was arrested for being a general creep. Blake was taken to jail while Craig was transported to the hospital to deal with his rake wounds. <laughs> in any case, thank you for listening and watching. I really do appreciate it. Shout out to Michael Sloan. We'll see you down in New Orleans next time we come back. There's gun runners, all sorts of crazy stuff. So Henry and I, will see you next time. Peace.